this is a little sled uh, and it was carried by reindeers back in the time. My grandmother and her family used it during the last movings they did when there was still uh, nomad. People from outside, they have a tendency to just take the right to define you and question your, your Sami identity if you don't have reindeers or if you're this and that and etc. When I'm, when I'm painting, I'm trying to really, I'm, I'm avoiding the reindeers as a subject, really, because I think that it's reinforcing the stereotype of Sami and reindeers, and I don't want to contribute towards that. Let this dry a little bit and continue at, at the later stage. The reindeer herding law states that you have to be a member of a Sami village in order to keep your reindeers in accordance with law. My grandmother went to, wanted to pass, pass on her reindeer mark uh, to me to keep her tradition alive. I can't have reindeers here because I need to be a member of that Sami village. The existing Sami village members decides with no objective criteria whether you should be a member or not. Uh, I, was, uh, I was rejected as a member. Do you have a generationen som, som föddes som, som nomad. Ja. Du, du gick i nomadskola. Jag gick i nomadskola. Det, det var en enklare typ av undervisning. Det eller? var en enklare typ av undervisning. Vi skulle aldrig bli så där som svenska att de skulle få inte samma undervisning. Gick ni någon undervisning på samiska? Eller? Nej, inte. Sista året, då, det sjätte året då, då hade vi eh, på lördag eftermiddagen en timme. Och då var det inte språket bara utan det var lite, lite, lite så det löst. Det var ju meningen att ja, vi skulle så att säga försvenskas. Och, man, och ska man vara riktig samer så ska man, då ska man ha renar mm. och sådär. Och du, du har ju levt i den gamla renskötarskolan. Mm. Renskötselskolan och du har ju du har ett renmärke och ägt renar och sådär. Men, men hur, och hur ser du på det då? Hur, är det viktigt? Måste man ha renar för att vara sam? Nej, det behöver man inte. Nej, nej, oh, nej. Man kan inte binda. Man kan inte binda människor till djur. Men, medan när jag pratar med, med människor som är i min ålder och äldre och lite yngre så de har närmare att tänka sig att det här med renar är väldigt viktigt på något vis. Ja, visst är det konstigt. Ja. Kulturen är inte knuten till renhåll. Den, den kommer från människorna. On a more of a on a general level, it is important uh, because this is what we what distinguishes the Sami from the from the rest of the population. It is the traditional occupation, yes, so they are important. That is also where uh, issues about rights are 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 connected to. In my opinion, there, there is a um, sort of a hierarchy, or you can you can see um, that um, Samis that are uh, engaged into reindeer herding or that own reindeers, they have a high social uh, position. Media has a way to always um, make some kind of reference to reindeers and reindeer herding. Um, if they even mention the word Sami, 
Sami reindeer, reindeer Sami, reindeer herding Samis, then you start to think that, well, if I don't have reindeers, then what am I? Am I Sami? From the beginning, everyone had reindeers. They, we all come from reindeer herding families, if you're looking back in history. I can't really imagine a life without having reindeers today, because it's a natural part of my life. It's a life in symbiosis with each other. The reindeer have always been the, the, the fundamental of the culture. My mother always told me that, you know, we're Samis and um, I've seen pictures of myself in a traditional suit and we went to Sami preschool, but then we grew up in South of Sweden. That's cool until it gets like 16, 17, 18 and, and, and trying and the need to sort of um, get an, an adult identity, which is, um, that, that can be some kind of, that can be troublesome for most of us, I guess. And uh, with a Sami identity, that can be even more problematic. Growing up and knowing that you're Sami and not being able to connect to a geographic place and other Sami people and, 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 and the culture, and that is just going to be a difficult process to connect to it. I was taught Sami language with Sami books. Sami all around me, symbols, costumes, history. I got it through my, my, my mom's breast milk, so to speak. To accept your Sami identity later in life, I don't know how easy that is. The stereotype of the reindeer herder with the, you know, up in the mountains. It's, um, it's not just that anymore. My son, Lars, or Lasse, that's his short name. I will at least try not expect him to act Sami or, or you know, identify as a Sami. So it's his choice. But of course I hope he could feel like uh, he wants to be a Sami and, and, and recognize himself as Sami. That is my wish, of course, but at the same time I'm, I'm not going to be judgmental about it or or well, will I, maybe subconsciously. It's uh, important for me to give the culture and language and traditions over to my kids. My Mom and dad have always been like saying to me that I am a Sami and I have never felt the shame of being Sami. Here in Norway we had the assimilation, like it was shame for people to be, uh, to be Sami. My parents went to boarding school. It was the uh, most effective way for um, the Norwegian state and also the Swedish state to eliminate Sami culture. You take away the language, you take away their connection to the land, their family. You send a six-year-old to school and they're lost. But they're still there. Yeah, I do for believe. Den är skinna jag var då. Det är som ni sa, slag mm. säger. Må vaj, må lä må råk då. Jag tar tjov och må. Ja, det tycker jag liksom att... Eh.
I have had the feeling uh, that I need to uh, sort of uh, claim my ad identity as a Sami individual because they think uh, it's just all right to, to assume that I, I'm not a Sami because I don't have reindeers. It's frustrating and that makes the identity process more complicated. Um, I can deal with it because I know what I am and where I come from.